Do you know how it looks like? He has a glasses. Yeah? Yeah, he's a short. Yeah? Yeah. What is he doing? Oh, that's a good question. What's he doing? <laughs> he's making films. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know by any chance where we can find him? I have no idea. No idea? something like a month ago that he was shooting in a somewhere by Central Park. Central Park? Yeah. Le fait de partir, d'aller sur un autre continent et de et d'essayer de trouver quelqu'un euh, mais c'était surtout de découvrir une ville par l'intermédiaire de cette personne et j'avais envie de voir si le New York que lui montrait dans ses films était le même que ce que moi j'allais découvrir et c'était passionnant. Go over to the west side. West side. West side. Cross town. That's where he lives. Woody Allen. Do you know him? Yeah, I know who he is. He lives right over here. Yeah. On 74 Street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea Woody Allen lives over here. From your point of view, is it difficult to approach? Is it difficult? Well, I don't know if you'd want somebody approaching him because there's a lot of tabloid media. But if he knew what you were doing, it was seven people from France, a French film crew, just making a film looking for Woody, I think that's pretty impressive. And that's unique. And I think if there's anyone who respects something like that, it would definitely be him. On s'est retrouvé entre potes autour d'une table et puis euh, on a passé une soirée bien bien arrosée et elle est contrainte, c'est qu'on avait juste 7 jours pour trouver Woody Allen dans New York. Uh, Peter. Peter Allen. Peter Allen. I paint. What's about? Just about what I do. Just living, living in New York and just what it's like to live in New York. My experiences. Um, Woody Allen's my father and um, he's a very famous man. And it's about that. It's, sometimes it's very hard to be the son of such a famous man. Are you serious? I mean... Sounds like a bit strange. Um, <laughs> no, I'm the son of Woody Allen. Le but c'était pas forcément de rencontrer Woody Allen. Bah, peut-être des moments plus plus anodins, des rencontres avec des gens dans la rue, euh, la réaction des gens à, à des questions. Euh, Est-ce que vous avez déjà vu Woody Allen que, euh, La surprise des gens. He gave a new idea of New York and uh, New Yorkers. Um, yeah, I guess so it did. I guess I thought New York was, well, they were, were all crazy Jews, that's what I thought, you know. But it's, uh, he, he only does like a part of New York. He gives you a part of New York. And yeah. That's what, you, that's what everybody thinks the whole world is. But then when you come to New York, you find out it's not that at all, really. It's not only that. Yeah, it's not only that. It's, have you seen Husbands and Wives? Yeah. Well, we had just gotten married and then we smoked the joint. Oh. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> See, the early ones are cool. You yeah. Know? It's like uh, Burt Reynolds. His he, early movies were cool. He, and I heard he plays a pretty decent clarinet. Um, as far as I know, Wendy, Woody Allen never played here, did he? No. Never. I'm not aware that he has or ever has or ever will. I'm really? Not sure, no. La première personne qui m'est venue à l'esprit quand on a parlé de New York, c'était Woody Allen. Il y a quelqu'un qui t'a marqué particulièrement Oui, sans doute le, le directeur du film Académie. No, Woody Allen has not studied here. People come here to create their own films. Okay. They come here to write, shoot, direct and edit what they want. To. They, uh, they may like Godard, they may, may love Spielberg, but basically, uh, they want to be themselves and Good. create their own film. Good. And um, do you think Woody Allen has an impact on, on them? 
every director has an impact on, on everyone. I mean, yeah. I, there are people that love Woody Allen and the people that hate Woody Allen. Yeah. And so uh, I think if you go and ask a class of 16 and say, how many like Woody Allen, you'd probably have four or five. I mean, Woody Allen is not that commercial. He relates to himself his insecurities, his fears, his desires have no really relationship to someone else in a, in a, in a whole different... Uh... Are you looking for Woody, really? Yeah, we yeah. to do for Woody. We're going to put food on. What, you got a camera on me? Turn that off. Oh, you don't want to... Uh... Turn it off. Okay. Can you turn it off? Stanford, what do you like in Hollywood today? Well, uh, I've heard that you're Woody uh, haircut. <laughs> Thank you. You want to have a Woody on a haircut? Yeah, mm. that's what I would like. Well, that's a little problem there because you don't have a Woody on your face, first of all. Yeah. Moi, je trouve que c'était vraiment pas facile. Déjà parce que au départ, il n'y avait pas de réalisateur. Donc, du moins, on était sept réalisateurs. <rire> Donc au final, euh, une expérience très difficile à gérer, mais très intéressante. What you'll need to do is call Woody Allen's publicist. Okay, are you is it, is it are you calling from a company or it's just an independent thing you're doing? It's independent. Okay, I will call you. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye bye. This is Len from the director's code returning your call. Uh, Woody Allen's agent is Sam Cohn, C-O-H-N. He's with ICM. So what you need to do is you need to go to that area, okay? And you need, and you could go into buildings and ask doormen. Doormen know a lot. Is that around right now? That around right now, but it might be around, you know, later or something. Like, do you, do you have time? Is he going up early in the morning? At times, you know, it varies. I don't even know if he's around now. Uh huh. Maybe he's. Maybe uh, he wanna can. Want to leave him a note or something? Sorry. You want to leave him a note? A note? Well, when did you he first meet him? Well, to be honest, he been coming here. I don't know exactly how long he's been coming here, because he's been coming here before I came. All right. Yeah, before I started this business. And uh, I will say he's been coming here for what, maybe 20 years. How, how does he behave when he, when he uh, comes here? Absolutely not. What's his he, he don't behave. He, I mean, he don't behave. He don't do much. Do you have a chat with him? With uh, not many. No, no. no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, That's not because nervous, no it's because the no guy problem. has a long hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, we don't, we don't, sh no, he don't, no. He's not the guy who talks too much, very quiet. Okay. Haven't you seen him um, reading, uh, oh, reading Donald Duck? I beg your pardon? <laughs> reading what? Donald Duck. Impressive, and why is that? <laughs> Actually, um, that, we have that? something in common because um, I used to date Mickey Mouse and uh, we just broke up recently. I'm a little upset about it. Oh, also, yeah, a friend of mine just made a movie with Woody Allen and uh, he played next to Leonardo DiCaprio as, ah. as like his, uh, his uh, best friend in the movie or something like that. So that's it. I saw a photograph with Woody Allen, and uh, his name is Adrian. Yep. Right? And his phone, his, this is his beeper number. I'll have to tell you that my part wasn't that big. So um, I, I, I would imagine if, if it was a bigger part, that he would work with me a lot more. Me being just the supporting role, he, you know, he doesn't really need to do a lot with that because it's not the focus. 
you know, but. Would you, would you care to, are you leaving? Je pense qu'on a trouvé un bon, un bon juste milieu entre tout parce que euh, on est arrivé à un moment où il y avait à un certain moment peu de structure et à un certain moment on arrivait avec une structure qui était plus, plus marquée mais la moyenne ça a donné quelque chose qui est pas mal du tout parce que justement on a réussi à se situer entre deux choses. Dear Mr. Allen, sitting around the table one evening, seven young French men were blessed with a common calling for adventure. At the end of a grueling dinner, one guest face rose from a puddle of saliva and, more or less, distinctly said this, this, this. I suggest we go looking for the one, merde. L'anglais c'est pas ça hein. Mais tu m'emmerdes un peu toi. Oh si fait si c'est pas ça. Non, non, non. We're looking for uh, the famous bridge, you know, in Manhattan? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it the Brooklyn Bridge? It's, no, no, it's, it's the Manhattan Bridge. This is the Brooklyn Bridge closer. That's the Manhattan Bridge over there. And if you cross the bridge and go underneath, you'll find that, that view of Manhattan. He romanticizes New York, that's all. And he's, um, I mean, he's, a, he's an incredibly good filmmaker. Sans doute parce que j'ai été élevé aux états unis et les états unis ont été élevés, eux, à leur tour, à l'humour juif. Les, euh, les crooners sont italiens, l'humour est juif. Et eux, nous ont amené cet humour-là qui, qui, maintenant, fait vraiment partie de la culture américaine à part entière. Imagine it. Imagine in a movie, you used to come here often. Uh, a lot of the old stars used to hang out here. Thursday? Monday night. Monday. Well, here we go. Woody Allen and Eddie Davis. Yeah, bingo. Here. Euh, Woody Allen, euh, le fait que je me sente proche de ce qu'il fait, euh, c'est que je crois comme lui, euh, que la réalité est en partie inacceptable. Et, euh, comme son personnage dans Ombre et Brouillard, on, on peut avoir la sensation que la vie euh, nous fait participer à un plan auquel euh, on ne comprend rien. Absurde et confus. We are um, seven people coming yes. from France, especially. To, uh, For the purpose of that documentary. Yes. Entre temps, je suis enregistré. <laughs> La personne à qui vous devriez parler est le maître d'hôtel du Café Carlyle, où il apparaît les lundis. Vous voulez venir le voir On voudrait le, le voir parce qu'on a un cadeau pour lui. Bon, vous êtes combien On est sept. Oh. Venez me voir lundi, euh, lundi soir vers, euh, vers 8h30. Et il ne veut parler à personne, il est euh, assez spécial. Il y a les filles qui ont le droit d'approcher. Oui. Et d'après toi, pourquoi est-ce qu'il y a que les filles qui ont pu l'approcher Oui, bien sûr, c'est évident. Jaloux.